Happy holidays, everybody. I'm Chef Seb, and you are watching RV Foodie Nomads YouTube channel, where we take you on a culinary and cultural journey into American RV life. In today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to make campfire cornbread from scratch. So stay tuned as I will show you step by step how to make this wonderful recipe. All right guys, so here are the ingredients needed to make your campfire cornbread. You're gonna need one cup of cornmeal, half cup of all-purpose flour, one cup of whole milk, a half teaspoon of sea salt, two tablespoons of olive oil. You can also use coconut oil if you like, but I personally like olive oil better to make this recipe two tablespoons of honey. I like wild flower honey, if you can do it. If not, regular honey is fine. One tablespoon of baking soda and one egg. Now I'm going to show you how we mix in these ingredients. So now what we have to do is mix in all the dried ingredients, which are the all-purpose flour, the cornmeal, your sea salt, and your baking soda. Okay. Once you have all your dry ingredients in the mixing bowl, just make sure with a fork, you mix it enough where all the ingredients are incorporated. This is a very critical step of the recipe, so just make sure you do this um, accurately, please. Once you have all your dried ingredients mixed, you, we're gonna go ahead and add the uh, liquid ingredients into the mix and mix them again just to make sure that all the ingredients are well incorporated. So we're gonna start off with the milk. Go ahead and add the egg. And then the oil. And lastly, two tablespoons of the wildflower honey. And again, you guys don't have to use wildflower honey. You can use just the regular honey if you want. But I just think the wildflower honey gives it a nice um, flavor. And the next thing is with a fork, just make sure you are mixing everything. So that way you have a nice, um, equal consistency with your mix. Take your time, don't rush it. So the fire is blazing. I'm just gonna wait for the firewood to completely burn off. So once it turns into charcoal, I can rearrange the charcoal where it's not providing too much heat uh, for the skillet because we don't wanna burn the cornbread, okay? So let's go ahead and do that right now. Now that your fire is blazing outside, the next step is to uh, make sure that the skillet you're using to cook your cornbread is completely coated with oil before you add in the mix. This is a critical part of the process because if you don't do this uh, right and you don't distribute the oil evenly in the pan, what's gonna, what's gonna happen is you're going to have these small pockets of burnt cornbread or or you will have the uh, bottom completely burnt and then in the center is gonna be raw and kind of mushy. We don't want that. And uh, the way to, to avoid that is one, to have a evenly distributed oil in your pan. And two, make sure that your, um, your heat uh, of your campfire is not too high. We want the heat to be at medium low. The next step is to add the cornmeal milks to your skillet and then cover it up with aluminum foil and 
we have to make sure that it's completely covered uh, with the foil. Otherwise, um, the steam is not going to be contained in this uh, in the skillet to cook the cornmeal mix, which is uh, another important uh, part of this process. So we're going to go ahead and add the mix. And just make sure we get everything out of the mixing bowl. And then once you have all the uh, cornmeal mix inside your pan, just kind of like make sure it's uh, it's in there evenly, okay? All right, guys, so the next thing is to cover up the skillet with aluminum foil, and we need to make sure we are covering it completely because uh, we don't want any of that heat to escape, and, um, and that would result either in taking longer to cook or you're going to have a cornbread that's cooked unevenly, okay? So uh, this is an important part. Another important part of the process, and we have to make sure that the entire skillet is completely covered. All right, guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and place this on top of the fire outside. All right, guys, so the skillet is on top of the fire, and as you can see, there is a good amount of space between the fire and the skillet, which will result in making sure that we don't burn the cornbread. Also, make sure you guys are using a mitt to place the skillet and also to remove it from the fire because we don't want you to burn yourself okay this thing is pretty hot let us sit here for about 15 minutes and then come back and let's check on it it's been 15 minutes so it's time to remove the um, skillet from the fire and after we move it we have to let it sit for five minutes covered okay guys so let's go ahead and do that Let us sit here for about five minutes covered and then after five minutes, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take the cover off. See what we've done. Looks good. Wow. Awesome. If you want to continue watching our journey, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also follow us on all of our social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.